Ukrainian forces hunt Russian recon drones more successfully, Russian complaints increased. The Russian military complains about the interception of its reconnaissance copters by Ukrainian drone hunters, according to Militani media outlet. It is noted that Ukrainian forces have already proved their ability to intercept Russian medium-sized reconnaissance drones of the fixed-wing type using FPV drones. And this trend seems to be spreading to small reconnaissance drones like Mavic. Telegram channels affiliated with the Russian army are increasingly complaining about the loss of their frontline scouts to Ukrainian drones hunting them. In particular, the Black Swan Strike Group of the 225th Separate Assault Battalion recently posted a video of a drone operator ramming a Russian Autel copter, causing it to crash. Another successful aerial duel from the Black Swan pilots. This time, the invaders lost an Autel reconnaissance drone. I wonder how our pilots find them. The military commented on the result of the strike. According to Militani media outlet, the potential loss of a significant number of reconnaissance drones by the Russian army could severely hamper their ability to control the battlefield and adjust artillery fire. This may give the Ukrainian military an advantage on the battlefield. The video shows the downing of an enemy copter without the loss of a Ukrainian drone. But even if it were lost, it would still be beneficial as the difference in cost could be a multiple of five FPV drones. In early May, the Ukrainian defense tech support cluster EV-1 started looking for developers to create interceptor drones. Our goal is to bring together developers and engineers who will create effective solutions to destroy enemy reconnaissance drones such as Zala, Olan, Supercam, the statement read. That same month, the first video of a Russian Zala 421-16E reconnaissance drone being intercepted by a Ukrainian FPV drone was posted online. Since then, Ukrainian drones have destroyed many Russian reconnaissance aircraft in the air, including other Zalas, Orlantens, and even a Lancet loitering munition. At the same time, other Ukrainian units continue to search for Russian reconnaissance aircraft control centers and their operators for further destruction with high-altitude weapons. This time, Russians stormed the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces in a Ziguli car. Russian occupiers are storming Ukrainian positions using various types of military equipment, even Ziguli vehicles. An officer of the planning section of the Rubez Brigade of Ukraine, Major of the National Guard, Dmitry Kozubenko, said this on air at the telethon, according to Unayan Agency. At the same time, he spoke about a curious incident when a month ago, the enemy greatly surprised the Ukrainian military. They stormed our positions in a Ziguli. It was a VAZ-2104 type vehicle, but without doors. It was maximally prepared for the rapid landing of infantry, but they demilitarized both themselves and the car very quickly, Gozubenko noted. At the same time, he added that he couldn't even imagine what else the enemy could do to surprise the Ukrainian military. They stormed us in buggies, ATVs, motorcycles and Ziguli cars. Armored vehicles, of course. The only thing is, if they ride now on a unicycle or a bicycle, he joked. Gozobenko also explained why it is very difficult to fight in the city. Urban combat is a very difficult part of warfare because the enemy can hide in basements, destroyed houses, attics. There are a lot of places where you can set up firing positions, observation posts that will be hidden from our side, he noted. At the same time, he added that it is drones that help identify the enemy because the bulk of our positions are either at ground level or below ground level and it is very difficult to see the enemy moving behind the rubble. According to him, therefore, with the help of Mavics, it is possible to detect the enemy from the air and with the help of thermal imaging cameras, identify them in shelters. Gozobenko noted that copters play an important role during battles in the city because they can look there and see what is not visible from positions. Retired British Army colonel and famous military expert Glenn Grant said that there may be an unexpected enemy attack that will catch the Ukrainian armed forces completely unawares. He noted that as the war progresses, Russia is becoming increasingly desperate in its attempts to achieve its goals. According to him, attacks are becoming more frequent, more old equipment is being transferred to the front line, and even innovative tactics are being used, such as using combat buggies and motorcycles for attacks. Thus, pressure is put on the Russian front line and on officers to achieve results.
results. Grant noted that while the front line is moving forward, Russia is losing in the broader picture. Shotguns are becoming an effective weapon for combating drones. This has been proven in Ukraine. The role of the shotgun in warfare has changed over time and in 2024, shotguns found a new niche, fighting drones, writes Business Insider. According to the publication, unlike rifles or pistols, shotguns are loaded with sealed cartridges inside of which there are several shells shot. Therefore, when fired, the gun fires several shells at once and the spread of the shot makes it easier to hit the target. This has been proven in Ukraine. One of the most common uses of a shotgun is to hit flying targets, including birds, but drones are also flying targets, so shotguns are their natural predators. Business Insider says the advantage of shotguns is that they are low-tech and readily available. Shotguns are also fairly lightweight weapons and can be carried in conjunction with a service rifle. Of course, carrying two pistols is not very convenient, but it is no less unpleasant to have a grenade dropped on you from a tiny drone, notes Business Insider. As the article states, bird shot is the best shot for killing drones, particularly heavy shot designed for shooting geese and other large birds. In this case, it is not even necessary to completely destroy the drone. A few bullets hitting the propellers or body are enough to destabilize it and render it ineffective. If we talk about the type of shotgun, then a semi-automatic one is best, as it allows you to quickly reshot in case of a miss. In addition, the publication writes, pump-action shotguns can also be suitable, although they require manual movement of the pump to feed the next cartridge, they still allow you to fire a second shot quite quickly. On the downside, as Business Insider notes, shotguns have a very limited range, even with the best bird shot, it is limited to 45 meters. At the same time, drones can fly higher. Specialized ammunition could potentially solve this problem, but it creates a supply chain problem compared to standard off-the-shelf options. However, even with their limitations, shotguns prevent drones from getting too close. Additionally, drone cameras don't always provide a clear image, which can force the drone to fly lower to spot a target. Business Insider notes, while shotguns will not be the be-all, end-all option for countering commercial drones, they are an organic infantry and armor weapon that can easily be used in this role. The Russian occupiers showed the operation of a quadcopter, which is equipped with a system for combating drones using a net that is fired towards another UAV. The system was called Net Launcher. It allows you to intercept Mavic-type drones. The head of the Thales UK, Alex Cresswell, stated that an inexpensive weapon capable of destroying several drones at once, destabilizing their electronics, could appear as early as next year.